In Western Europe, X bicycles were sold in each of the years 1990 and 1993. So we're getting information about the number of bicycles, the number of bicycles sold in Western Europe. And we're learning about both 1990 and 1993. And I'll, I'll build a little chart here since we're getting so much data. I want to organize that information. So we know that in 1990, X bicycles were sold, and in 1993, X bicycles were sold. Although we might be making life a little harder for ourselves than it has to be by working with X. Uh, there's so much, so much difficult language in this stem. It might be easier to think about if we had a value rather than a variable. So what would be a good number to replace X with? What should we pick for X? Well, we're getting a lot of percentages in the question, and there's a lot of percentages in the answer choices. So let's pick a number that's easy to take a percentages of. And probably the easiest number for that is 100. So now we're just saying that, that rather than X in 1990, 100 bicycles were sold in 1990 in Western Europe. And 100 were sold in 93 in Western Europe. And if we continue with the stem, we get the bicycle producers of Western Europe had a 42% share of this market in 1990 and a 33% share in 93. So what does this mean? We're getting the bicycle producers of Western Europe, so the producers of Europe had a 42% share of, of what? Of this market, so the market that we just learned about. So the, these 100 bicycles were sold in Western Europe. And we're learning that the Western European bicycle producers, we're learning about the Western European uh, bicycle producers' share of, of, of that market, of those hundred. And I'll, I'll continue this chart. And we know that in 90, the Western European producers had a 42% share of that 100, and it's nice to pick 100 for exactly this reason. 42% of 100 is just 42. And then in 93, uh, uh, they had a 33% share of the 100, so they got 33. But what exactly does this mean? Well, they had a f so the 100 bicycles, 100 bicycles were sold in Western Europe, and, and they, they guess where they were from all over the place. Some of them were probably from North America, some of them were from Asia, and it turns out that 42, 42 of those hundred were, were not imported. They were, they, were, they were produced and sold in Western Europe. So these numbers represent those bicycles that are made and sold in Western Europe. What does this mean for the question? The question asks, which of the following represents the decrease in the annual number of bicycles produced and sold in Western Europe? So that's just the decrease in these numbers. These are the, this is the number that, were, that, that was produced and sold in 90. This is the number that was produced and sold in 93. So if X is 100, the answer to our question, the decrease in the number produced and sold is just is just 42 minus 33 which is 9 now all we have to do is go to our answer choices and plug in plug in 100 for x and wait for the one that that, that leads to 9 so plugging in 100 for x we can pretty quickly see that B is not going to lead to 9, and, and C is not going to lead to 9, and E is not going to lead to 9, but both A and D are looking pretty good. So if we look at A, 9% of X over 100. 9% 9 over 100 of X over 100, or for us, 100 over 100. 9% of... 100 over 100, and what, what, what is 100 over 100? It's just 1, right? Let's just cancel. And we're left just with 9 over 100, or, 
or 9%, or as a decimal, 0 0.09. And 0 0.09 is not 9, so A is not our answer. In D, we've got 9% of X, so 9% of 100. And that, well, the hundreds cancel here, and we're just left with 9, which does match, so D is our answer.